So if I wanted to edit the header, for example, I, I already hit the header section. So I have the fruit and vegetable recipes, right? So I kind of like this one, but I don't kind of like this side logo because I wanted to create my own. So I'm gonna go into select my files and I'm gonna go here into my own elements. And what I wanted to do is to choose something easy like this and hit into open. And now I have the select section and automatically it's gonna be showing it like this, there we go. So if I wanted to delete this one because you think this is actually not working, just go into L Mund Recipes. There we go. And now let's see what we can do with this actual image because we don't want to see this image anymore. We wanted to change this. So I'm going to go here into Replaced and let's go for Use Featured Image or Select Media, Pixels Free Photos. Once again, let's go for Fruits. And we have created something uh, really easy into the other websites. I'm going to choose something like that. And there we go. So lastly, what I do here, uh, I think that this one actually is not working. So I'm going to just leave this like that. And again, I hit now into save. There we go. So my site is now been updated, right? So if you're okay with that, just go into the full screen. Let's go out from the actual full screen. There we go. I have the header editor section here. And now we have this new section of the folder. So you can choose your folder here. This one should be sending you directly into your folder and you can get started to edit your folder. For example, a wordpress.com site. Let's go here. The best recipe is in the 2023. So now I have Facebook. Usually this link sends you directly into the Facebook account. So you can go for www.facebook.com. I'm going to leave this like that because we actually don't have a Facebook, but you can add your own if you wanted to. Twitter, which is almost um, X now, and Instagram. Hit to save, save once again, and now I can go back. So I have now edited the template parts of my header folder and now the post media pod, which is fully synchronized, should be adding here the categories. Since we're not focusing into categories here, we don't have a lot of steps to edit. I'm gonna just go back. And now, as you can see, we do have the about, the blog post, the call to action, coming soon, and much more elements as we were just actually getting started here. So check it out here. If you go directly into your, I'm gonna go back, of course. If you go directly into your pages, you have the search results and you can go here into edit and check it out. This is like how it's going to be looking when somebody make in a specific search attempt. So if you wanted to, let's say, move this a little bit down or upper, or you just wanted to, don't want to see something specifically, you can just edit that. If you're okay with what you're actually seeing, just leave it like that. But in my case, I wanted to change the list view for from the get from grid actually from the actual list view. So it's actually looking now much more interesting. So let's go into save. I hit into save, and now later on, I'm gonna go into the three dots. I go out from the actual design. So to add custom pages now inside the WordPress, you can always go directly into your WordPress section. And you're gonna be creating a new page. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna be showing you actually how.